today we've got Hyundai HY7000 LEK2 and uh, a cat keeping us company. <laughs> hey little guy. All right. So what have we got? We've got, it's, it's a nice generator. Uh, it's not run very many hours, but um, the owner hasn't run it for about two years and the battery's dead. So uh, we're just gonna give it a quick look over, get the battery charged. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to take off the black wire first. This will stop the circuit of, of the battery and therefore there's a lot less chance that you're gonna get electrocuted by any battery terminals. So pull off the plastic. Now, in most cases, what you're gonna need is, is a Phillips or crosshead screwdriver. Um, if you need to use um, a, a spanner or a wrench, depending on where you are in the world, 10 mil. Almost all batteries are 10 mil on small engines and generators. Uh, if you don't have any metric tools, pop to our shop. Uh, I'll put the link above and uh, you can pick yourself up some metric tools. All generators are metric these days and it's worth having the right size because trying to replace some of the nuts and bolts these days is very hard. Uh, especially ones like this on the alternator. If you cross that head, you're not getting it off. Not without a lot of effort. All right, so back to the battery. So let's get our screwdriver and undo this. It's very loose, this one. Okay, let's get that undone. And off now. Now that, that the black wire is off, the battery is safe from the circuit. And so long as you don't touch both of these at the same time, you are going to be fine. Okay, I'm only just going to put that in hand tight. I can see why it didn't go in. Looks like the thread has crossed a little bit. There we go. All right, and then we're going to do the same on the red. Now, you're going to need a battery charger. Now this, you will only need a battery charger if you are not running your generator on a regular basis. If you are running your generator on a regular basis and your battery keeps dying, please get in touch. That's a completely different situation. Um, in this case, this has been sitting, as I say, for two years. So we're gonna remove the battery. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with showing you about charging that, but what you need is you're gonna need a battery charger. Now, on small engine batteries, you always wanna put it on the slowest charge possible at the voltage that the battery says, usually 12 volt. I haven't seen a six volt one for years. Um, so slow, charge on the slowest possible. They do not like quick charging. They are not built for quick charging like the size of your car or a truck battery, you know, the, things like that. They, they don't mind a quick charge, but the small ones don't. Okay, so we're going to go and charge that. Um, normally for a battery this size, we know that on a trickle charge, it's probably going to take probably about six or eight hours. So we'll come back in a bit and I'll show you how to fit it. As I say, if you've been running your generator and the the battery keeps dying, please get in touch. It's most likely the battery charging rectifier if you know your battery will charge up and hold a charge. Um, if you need any more help from that, as I say, go to our help center, go to the bottom of our web page, click need help. We've got loads of online guides there, but um, if it's not actually on the online guide, then we will give you an opportunity to talk to an engineer. All right, I'll be back in a moment. So we've charged the battery. Um, in the end, I actually left it overnight. Uh, you know, I just, I just think it's worth it. Um, I put it on a maintenance charge as well. Always worth doing if you can. All right, so now we've got the charge battery. We are going to pop that back on. Now, we need to do it in the reverse order that you had before. So... You want to put the positive on first, and as there's no connection through the system, you should be absolutely fine. Let's try it in the hand. There we go. Now, try and do it by hand tight first. If it's not going easily, undo the bolt and redo it. Um, you do not want to cross the threads. That can cause a little bit of problems later on. 
quite a lot of problems actually. So gentle is always good. You should never have to force it. Keep in mind that with really any bolt until the very end when you're actually uh, tightening it. All right, so we've done the positive first and we're going to do a black wire negative. Or ground, depending on which terminology you prefer. They are all correct, depending on where you are. There we go. Yeah, I think somebody crossed that thread before, so. But we got there. Great. All right. Make sure you put the little plastic caps on. Keeps everything safe, keeps you safe, and also prevents water gain on the terminals. Now, as you can see, this gen this uh, generator does not have a strap over its battery. Normally, you'll have like a, me a, a plastic strap over it or um, a metal um, uh, bar to hold it in place. Okay. So now, you should have a fully operational battery. If your battery is not charging and you are running your generator, that is going to be your battery charging rectifier. Pop to generatorguru.com. We do sell them for um, every model that we can get, them, get hold of them for. Um, if you have any questions or even if you want to know what the test techniques are, don't worry. Just drop us a, a, a help desk support ticket. Uh, we're very quick getting back to people and we're always happy to help. All right. Well, thanks for joining Generator Guru. Please like and subscribe. It really helps us to help more people save their generators from the scrap heap. Thanks very much. Have a great day. Take care.